Hey everyone, I want to do another quick video on the TYT UV8000D. I want to show everyone how to turn on the crossband repeater function. Um, I've heard lots of people say that the 8000D doesn't have the crossband repeater function. And I think that on the older models that was true. But on the newer models, it has a sticker right on the back now that says upgrade a version with crossband repeater function. And it does have it, it's just not activated when they ship it to you. If you turn the radio on and you try to go to menu number 11, which is called turn in the menu, but that's crossband repeater. And if you push the function key, you can't even get into that menu. So I'm going to show you how to do that and you do it with the programming cable. So here's my programming cable. You plug this in into the radio. Like that. And you plug the other end into your PC. And I'll go over what you do from there. Okay, so now I have the USB end of the programming cable plugged into my PC. And I have the radio turned on. And I have the TYT software available from the TYT website. Uh, open here then another important thing to do to make sure that your connection is going to work is you Go down to your start menu and right click on your start menu and click on device manager and This this screen will pop up and go to your ports and This will be the one that your radio is plugged into, the CH340. Um, my programming cable, when I plugged it into my Windows 10 PC, it automatically installed the right drivers. I didn't have to look for them. I didn't have to install anything. It did it itself, and it installed it as USB serial CH340. And what you want to pay attention to is the COM number right there. It's on COM8. So then when you jump over to the software here, you go set up communication port. And then you're going to want to make sure in this box that COM8 is the one that's selected. And then you click OK. If you don't do that, then when you go to hit read from radio, it's not going to do anything. It's going to give you an error. So make sure you do that. And now... That we have COM8 selected, we're going to hit read from radio. And going to hit OK on that. And the screen of the radio says PC COM. And the LED flashes red. And it starts reading the radio. Reading completed. OK. Then you're going to go over here to optional function. Double click on that. And what you're looking for for crossband repeater in this software is relay. So relay station, the drop down menu on and off. That can just turn it on and off. So if you chose this one on and you load that back up to your radio, it'll permanently be on crossband repeater and you won't be able to turn it off because that menu 11 is still disabled. If you check this box right here, that's gonna enable menu 11. And now you'll be able to turn crossband repeater function on and off whenever you want, regardless of what the setting is there on relay station. So I'll leave relay station off so that it's off when I turn the radio on, but I'm gonna check the box next to relay setting. And now that menu 11 is gonna be active for me. So you check that box, you hit close on here, and the last thing you have to do is hit right to radio. Hit right to radio, hit OK to that, and let this write that to the radio. And then we'll see what that did for us. Okay, so now we have the radio unplugged from the computer. We're going to go back into the menu. We're going to go to menu number 11, turn. We're going to 
hit function and now you can see we can get into that menu and we can change that setting. So you're gonna hit function again to set that, escape from that menu. And now this radio is set up as a crossband repeater. So whatever it receives on channel A, it's gonna transmit on channel B. And whatever it receives on channel B, it's gonna retransmit on channel A. Um, with the exception that you cannot go from VHF to VHF. So it would not work with these frequencies I have put in here, but you can go from UHF to VHF and the other way around. Um, so that's it. That's all you have to do to activate that feature on this radio. I hope that helps some people out. Thanks for watching everyone.